Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see how to configure OSPF using Quagga OSPF D process. Um, in the last video, we saw how to actually install the Quagga process and the FRR process so that we can run BGP or OSPF. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually configure OSPF. So let me show you the package manager right now. So you can see here, I have a Quagga OSPF installed. And in the coming video, I'll show you with FRR as well. So click on service. So you can see here the master password to access the Zebra and OSPF man a daemon. So I've given the password here. You'll have to put the router ID and the area ID. Rest of the thing, you don't have to click on save and then you'll have to come to interface settings. You'll have to add a new interface. I have already added interface name WAN. So here you can choose WAN interface, network type, keep it as default. Otherwise you can choose based on your neighbor interface settings on a neighbor device, area is 0 .0 0.0.0.0. This is important, hello interval and dead interval. So I have, you know, there is a 40 gate firewall which is having the hello interval and so you can see here hello interval and dead interval 120 so i'm going to copy the same thing here i'm going to click on okay so now if you come to raw config it is going to show you the configuration it is similar to the cisco device Okay, so if you want to see the status here, you can click on OSP of neighbor and you can see the status here. And I can show you on 40 gate CLI as well. So you can see this is the PFSense interface, WAN interface running OSPF. Status is full, it's DR. The same thing you can see it on GUI. You can see the database. And you can see all sort of information here from the status tab. I'm not sure whether you can log into the Quagga or Zebra process via CLI. So I'm going to find it out and I will update, I'll create a new video if I have any other information about the Quagga process for the OSPF and I will have the command as well, which you can use it for the troubleshooting. That's it in this video and please do subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, stay safe. Bye-bye.